Welcome everyone. Today in this video we are going to see how to do CI binding by fetching the host name from the description field and then mapping it with the node field of the event so that that particular node value will be used uh, for resolving the CI on the alert. For that uh, what I did I created event rules and I have a dummy service also created. So I'm going to show you the service first so that you can understand what I'm talking about and how it impacts the application service when we create a alert on a particular host. So this is my dummy service. Uh, we will be creating a alert on this particular host uh, whose name of the host will be in the description uh, of the event i will show you uh, the payload which i will be using here right now you can see there are no alerts the payload which i'm going to use is like this so you can see uh, this is the payload where I, i'm going to say out of space and this is the host name you can see the node name is blank right and for this i created an event rule this is the event rule i just gave them a name source and the order filter resources plunk and this is the transform and compose section of the event where we decide what should populate on the alert form so here you can see i have created this node regular expression or, 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 a, or a virtual variable for this particular event what, how this is created so you can see i went to the description i just selected this and then the node value is fetched if i need to show you then what I can do is I can simply let's say reset this done now you can see it is not there I will create it for you like this let's say node I will say node done just to make sure I'm going to copy this here and save so basically there are some cases some tools can't you know directly forward the node name into the node field or we, we must fetch it from the description field and that is this case so we are fetching the node name from the description and if you see ci binding it's default ci binding on the hardware table which will be using the ci name okay so let's go and let's create one event i'm going to send this event you can see it is created let's go to all events let it process it's in ready straight as soon as it process it creates an alert before going to alert let me show you the processing nodes so you can see the node is not there and it says our event rule was applied which we which we saw found by node name because the node name was fetched from the description field here you can see the description field now let me show you the alert if you see the node value on the event was empty but on the alert it is present because we have fetched it from the description and it is properly uh, it has properly populated uh, that particular configuration item i am just going to open the alert here you can see the description the message key and the configuration item properly fetched now we will go to the service and see its impact here you can see um, I'm going to refresh this so as soon as I refresh you can see the alert is present here and this alert is mapped with this and it has impact on the database server and the application server definitely but not on the downstream CIs but on the upstream CIs where on for example this database server runs on this particular Windows machine that's the reason it is impacted and this IS server depends on this as well as this so it is impacted right now I'm not going to talk about the priority group the the alert grouping it will be in my next videos also i have created a couple of videos where i showed ci binding based upon the host name of the exi server and also depending upon the ip address of the particular windows machine so you can find it on my youtube channel that was it thank you so much keep watching keep following